Early voting comes to a close and we gear up for day two tomorrow. Georgia Secretary of State said today this was something that has never been done before here. Atlanta News First Ch reporter Chelsea Vimefor is live at an early voting precinct in Cobb County. So Chelsea, have you seen a lot of voters out there today? Carly, we have the state reporting more than a quarter million people turned out early to vote. A lot of them were in Cobb County. They came and they went. This is where that line was most of the day. It was wrapped all the way around the building and through a hallway inside to get to the other side to cast their ballots. And it's a sign that people want to make sure their voices are heard. Y'all come out here and get the voting, man. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's an important part of being a citizen. We can beat the crowd, so that's why we're here early today. On Tuesday, voters showed up in droves across Metro Atlanta, ready to cast their ballots for the 2024 election, three weeks ahead of schedule. It's such a critical election this year, so, and I believe the earlier, the better. Very concerned about the election this time and the change that need to be made in this country. The Secretary of State's office posting online that Georgia had already broken an early voter turnout record by midday with more than 150,000 votes cast. Of course, big turnout also means big lines. I think it's about an hour and a half. Do a little bit of planning will save you a lot of time. Cobb Elections Director Tate Fall says Cobb County is tracking and posting voter wait times online over the next month. Clayton, Fulton, DeKalb and Gwinnett are doing the same, a tool helpful for everyone battling a busy schedule. I have two children and I have to come when I can come. And the reason I decided to vote early is because I'm headed out of town for the rest of the month. These voters already got it done, but you have until November 1st to vote early at any precinct in your county. On election day, you must go to your designated location. But I am so grateful and I'm still going to continue to encourage everybody else to come on out and vote. This is the Cobb Elections Building off Broswell Street in Marietta. Poll workers say this is the shortest the line has been here all day. You can see a couple people still heading in. So if you live in Cobb and can get here before 7 tonight, you'll have a very short wait time. If you cannot vote in person, you can still apply for an absentee ballot in Georgia until October the 25th. Live in Cobb County, Chelsea Bime for Atlanta News First. Chelsea, thank you. And at 6, we're going to show you exactly who is voting in Georgia? Atlanta News First, check the numbers from our Secretary of State. And the biggest group of voters this November, I want you to look at this, is our youngest, 18 to 24. Over 800,000, 900,000 of them are registered. The second closest group is ages 35 to 29. They're coming in right now with 600,000 registered voters. And the numbers drop significantly after the age of 70 with roughly 410,000 thousand registered voters and you have